Hello, Alien St. Hilaire here, and in this technical video, we're going to take a look at Mesh Central Agent Updates. One really important part of Mesh Central is the ability for the server to receive regular updates so we can fix stuff, add new features, and keep the project evolving while having the server and the agents all deployed in a production environment. So one of the things that's important is being able to update the server, but what's more critical is being able to update all the agents that are in the field and already active. So let's take a look at how we do that. First of all, I'm going to take a look at this slide here. <clears throat> the first thing is we're going to update the, the server. And then when agents connect, the server will notice that the agent is an older version than the one on the server, and it will push a new update, uh, a new agent update. Now, this doesn't happen very often. Very often, we evolve the server much faster than we evolve the agents. So most of the time, you update the server, and the agents stay at the current version, and nothing happens. But occasionally, the agent needs to be updated. Now, there's two parts to the agent. There's the native part that's in C code, and there's what we call the mesh core, which is the JavaScript that the agent runs. So when you first deploy the agent, the agent connects to the server, it will check to see that the agent is the latest version. If it is, the server will then send a mesh core, which is a JavaScript file that the agent will run, and that will basically be the brain of the agent. Uh, mesh, the JavaScript file for the agent does a lot of work. The agent is does kind of the baseline stuff. So the nice thing about the mesh core is that we can evolve the agent very, very quickly, and we can add features or modify features without having to recompile the agent and redistribute that. So there's two things that are being updated, the mesh core and the agent. The mesh core, we're not going to talk about today much in this video because basically when an agent connects, it will send the version of, of the agent and the version of the mesh core. If the mesh core needs to be changed, a new JavaScript is sent to the agent, and then the agent will offload the old one, put the new one in, and it's set. So that's not that bad uh, or big of a deal. But when we need to update the underlying agent, that's a lot more uh, work, a lot more critical. So what we do is we have the agent report, check the version number, and we have two different code paths for updating the agent native part. One is hard-coded inside the C code of the agent, which is the one we are go uh, going to use most of the time. We call it the native update method. And then there's a second system that's built in the mesh core. So the mesh core can go and pick up a new agent and then cause the uh, agent here to, to um, update. So we have two completely different code paths for updating the agent. OK, so let's take a look at how that is done in practice. I have my trusty um, Mesh Central server right here. And of course, I'm using it. I'm running it with dash dash user admin, so I don't have to log in. It's always logged in as admin. I have a bunch of computers here. So the first thing I want to do is I want to figure out what version of my, what versions the agents are. So I'm going to click on um, this list view here. And this is, gives me a list view of all my agents. I can click on the little gear, select the agent type and agent version. And this will give me, now of course for AMT only um, uh, devices, there's no agent, so that's, that's blank. But otherwise you'll see like, for example, Windows 64-bit service or uh, Mesh Central Assistant or Linux 32-bit. And it will give you the date that the agent was compiled at and then the second number is the hash of the mesh core. So that's the, the mesh core that we sent onto that agent. So that the native part is August 5th, 2021 in this case. And then the mesh core is the second part. You can also click on the device, click on the console tab if you're administrator, and you will see these values on the right here. So this is the, uh, the time that the agent was compiled, and the second one is the mesh core. You can also type versions, 
And that will give you the OpenSSL version, the duct tape version of that agent, the time it was committed on uh, GitHub, and the compile time, which is the exact time this mesh agent was compiled. Um, so obviously, that's, that's a really good way of seeing if you have the most current version is to look at the compile time. OK, so now, if I want to update an agent. Now, normally, this is done completely automatically, and it is done using the native method. So what will happen is that the agent will connect, uh, the server will notice there's a new version available, and it will update that using this native method. So now, I can't do that right now because all my agents are the latest versions, but there is a trick I'm going to use. I'm going to extend this window a little bit. I'm going to run the Mesh Central server with dash dash agent update test one. So this basically says uh, you run the server, but when an agent connects, always update it using the number one here means the native method. So every time an agent is going to is going to connect to my server now, they are immediately going to the server is immediately going to update the the agent with the latest version. Now, of course, it's just going to overwrite the old one, which is exactly the same version. So this is just a test. But you'll see now that all the agents are disconnecting and reconnecting like Christmas tree lights. And so what's going on is if you track one of this computer like this HP Elite, you'll see the agent is online now, offline, and back online, and so on. So the, here is it's just a stress test to make sure that all the agents are updating correctly. So, and we're using the native method for doing the update. The other thing I want to show is if you go to my server console, um, and I'll type help here, there's something called the task limiter right there. And if you type task limiter and enter, you'll see, actually, if I do it a few times, I don't know if I'll catch it, but oh yeah, right here. So um, what we'll see is that there is a maximum of, uh, 50 different tasks that are currently uh, this, this server is configured to. And uh, tasks will take at most 20 seconds. If uh, after 27 seconds, if a task is not done, the server will automatically start a new task. And this is a list of tasks it's currently executing. And then this is the number of pending tasks in high, low, medium, and low priority. So the, 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 the idea here is that the server instead of updating 10,000 computers simultaneously, it will, it will update 50 c computers at a time. And as soon as one is done, it will start updating a new one. Or if a, a computer takes more than 20 seconds to update, it will keep doing that, but it will uh, start up on a, an, another task immediately. So if you have a lot of, um, of agents that need to be updated, go into here, go in the, into the My Server console and type task limiter, and you'll see the, the pending numbers here will not be 000. There'll be some high numbers. And, and as you type task limiter over and over, the numbers will shrink, 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 shrink until they go back to 000. And then all the agents will be updated. So that, you know, if you have a lot of a large deployment, that's a nice trick. Otherwise, you know, you you'll see agents going offline, online, you know, at some cadence, and you'll you'll be like, okay, is this normal? When is it going to end? You know, when when is the server done with all the agent updates? So that's the trick to do that. Okay, so now I'm I'm still testing all the agents. Of course, are hard. I work, you know, self updating over and over again. I'm going to stop that. Go b run back the server in normal mode, and of course the, this this uh, command line I, I used before is uh, is not typical. This is for our own testing. You wouldn't use that at, at all, except if you're a developer. Okay, so now I have all these agents back. I'm going to click on an agent, go in console, and I'm going to tap versions, and this is of course the version of the agent, but I can trigger uh, the second type of agent update, which is the mesh core type of update. So this is, you know, it basically uses this mesh core right here. And by the way, if you're not familiar with mesh core, you can, you know, you can control it using the agent action here. You can say clear the core, and then you'll see, you know, the uh, tabs disappear. 
Actually, this is an AMT tab, so like you'll see the AMT uh, stuff still active, but I'll pick one like this Windows 7 machine here. Let's see if I can do this. So I'll clear the core, and you see all the tabs have now disappeared, and that's because if I type help, there's, there's basically this agent has no JavaScript running, so it's not responsive to uh, any command. But now I can click on agent, say upload the default core, and it will push the new core in a few seconds here. You'll see all the new tabs, the tabs pop up, and now it's fully responsive, and I can type help, and I get the commands back. So I have the, the, the um, JavaScript on the agent uh, updated correctly. Now, one of the commands is called agent update, and this will basically tell the mesh core please start a self-update procedure. So when I hit enter here, what's going to happen is that the agent is going to send a command to the server to ask for the latest version. It will send a URI to the agent. The agent will download the latest version using an HTTPS uh, get command. Um, it will check that the server is valid. It will check the, the hash of the agent, make sure the agent has not been corrupt during transport or something. If everything goes well, what you'll see is that the mesh core will run the new version of the agent and the agent will go offline and back online and it will just take like a, a, maybe a second to do. So we'll hit enter here, downloading, and actually this is an older machine, an Aspire one, so a download completed, hash verified, update, and you will see agent is now offline. And so it's uh, doing the pivot and then back online, and now I can type help, and it should work here in a minute. There you go, versions, and everything is fine. So this here, the agent update, is the second technique. Um, you can also, you know, uh, you can also, in the configuration file of Mesh Central, turn off automatic update. If you do that. And I'll actually do it just for fun here. I'm going to go in my configuration file. Okay. And uh, let's see, and then type update. Okay, no agent update. I'm going to type here no agent update equals one. And I'm going to restart the, the server. And so now what's going to happen is that the server will never self-update uh, or update an agent. So now what will happen is that I can, I can have, um, I can of course do it manually by going here and typing agent update and, and update the agents, but because automatic update has been turned off, I can click on a device, say group action, and I can say force agent update right here. Now this option is only available if you turn off automatic update on the server, and then you say OK here, force, you say OK again, and then it should uh, basically send an agent update command to the, the device here, and then in a few seconds it will drop off, and there you go. So now we see it dropped off, and then in a few seconds it will come back online and we'll update the agent. And this will be using the second technique, the, um, the mesh core uh, update technique. So the um, one thing I do want to note is that if you're using the second technique, the mesh core technique, like typing uh, agent, uh, agent update, then this will need to do an HTTP get on the server to get the new version. If you are using the first technique, you know, which is the, the built-in one, then there's, then the uh, connection here between the agent and the server is used to push the new agent. So it, you won't see any additional HTTP traffic on your server. So that's one way to tell the difference between the two techniques here. Okay, so I think this is pretty good and we got uh, everything set. I'm gonna finish by just demonstrating one more thing. I'm gonna do a, agent update test two, and this will be similar to the previous one I did, except that instead of using the uh, first technique, it will use the second technique. 
So you'll see agents here drop out and connect again and, and, uh, and go offline and online and offline. It will go a little slower, but, um, but basically what we're doing here is we're using the second technique. Let's see, update test two. Yep. So we're using a second technique to uh, test the update. Anyway, th this will take a, a little longer here. So uh, I hope you enjoyed that. That's roughly the behind the scenes of how to do agent updates uh, on Mesh Central. Normally, you don't have to worry about it. Mesh Central just takes care of it all automatically. And you really don't have to play with the different update settings or stuff. Just keep it automatic, update the server. And as the server updates, the agents will update as needed. Hopefully, that was helpful. Thank you very much.